T-Man 978 Chill Review. Hello everyone, T-Man 978. I've had this figure forever. I need to start getting rid of boxes. Here comes the review. This is Hasbro's Fortnite Victory Royale series. Lexa Mecha Fusion. This is her morphed mode. In the game, she starts out looking like this right here. She was a part of the Chapter 2 Season 5 Battle Pass, the first Battle Pass I ever bought with Fortnite when I first started playing because they had the Mandalorian on there. And anyway, anyway this is this, that is that, and let's get her out of here. Now here is Lexa Mecha Fusion mode out of packaging, and she looks really good. They put like a subtle, let me turn on the light and whatnot. They have like a subtle cell shaded like look because she was supposed to be anime. Her and a few other skins, so you may see like little outline details and whatnot on her body. In certain areas, like definitely on this side. So I can't remember in the game was she asymmetrical because of that. Like, or was the cell seed in effect like only at certain angles? And now, one of my issues, I don't know whether to call it a QC issue, but I was a victim of the closed box syndrome where one eye is like looking off to the, to the right and the other eye is kind of straight. But in the game, a lot of the characters have a cockeyed stare anyway. So, it's like, I don't know whether that's purposeful or not, to be honest. Well, yeah, she looks, she looks really, really cool. And they, they put a lot of paint on her. I'm pretty sure there's something that's not picked out, but they, they did what they did. Here is this sniper rifle they gave her with this type of gun wrap. I don't know the name of the gun wrap. They have far too many for me to even try to guess. But I do like the purpley gun wraps. She has our back bling. They have a whole wiki on her character. So I'll let you look up her and what she's supposed to come with. These little things right here are floating in the game. But they put the transparent pieces and it kind of still looks like that depending on the light. This stays in the back decently decently not super duper secure and she also comes with her like blade gauntlets that are her harvesting tools i don't know what they're specifically called but on her wiki they will tell you that you can i take the fist off to be honest to get that on here she is with the blades on for whatever reason, they decided to give her single jointed elbows. But one of the things I like though, if you give a character single jointed elbows, please still at least give bicep swivel. It doesn't seem like a lot, but that does help for articulation, especially since she's a character that was packaged with a sniper rifle. Like being able to pose the arms better is definitely good she has a slight butterfly joint in there let's just show you that and yeah this doesn't stay on that well i gave was giving her the credit but no it doesn't she has a dumbbell at the top of the neck so she can look up that much look down and she also has the joint at the base of the neck so that's the max down this is the max up with both joints this thing right here rotates because it's a separate piece so you can tilt to the side and whatnot and of course rotate the arms go out to the side and of course they can go up they go they go out to the side to that much you see our elbows bend the 90 degrees she can also bend rotate right here even though she does have this swivel I'm going to just do the top and the bottom at the same time. She can go back a lot. 
can crunch forward about that much so you can tilt side to side and rotate at both joints if you want even with all this right here and these are like sculpted on separately and this is like sculpted on like this her legs can go out to the side all the way she can kick up all the way kick back some you do get rotation right here in the mid thigh you get double jointed penless knees you get the boot rotation right here you get the foot goes back that much comes forward a lot and you do get ankle pivot and here's what the bottom of the feet look like so there's that really poseable here's an example of her holding her sniper rifle which is cool I like that here's her holding the rifle while being on the ground which is also cool her leg neck and torso articulation is just cool period so you shouldn't have too much trouble getting her in the pose like I was showing even though she has the single jointed elbow she can still hold the gun and a good looking pose as you can see so that is great and that's all I care about here she is with two other six inch Hasbro figures Action for Swarm Sentry. And here's another crazy eyed synthetic person, Thousand Toys Synthetic Gaming. But any old who, end of the day, I think is a good figure. She poses well. I wish it had double jointed elbows to be even better, but she doesn't. The gun, the sniper rifle, is gummy. So <laughs> more than likely it's going to be warped out of package. Like in its been warping while I'm messing with it and it's now about to be summer so yeah so there's that um, these just know you have to take the hands off to put these on and off when you go to take them off I mean, you could try to be careful and keep the hands on but screw that just pull the hands off with it and put the hands back on and the back bling it doesn't stay in there as secure as I would like but other than that, she looks great. She has nice paint. It's a nice design. And like I said, she's posable. Thank you for watching this. Until next time, T-Man 978, out of here. Figure action. That one's me. Join the Syndicate Toy Hunters Facebook group. Link in the description. Click the videos, click the f***ing videos, baby, click, click the videos, you should really click these videos, click, click the videos, click the f***ing videos, baby, click, click the videos, you really should click those videos, click the channel.